All right, so this is a big day for Cal OES and for uh, fire departments near and far. I want to thank everybody for being here. Thank you to all of the gentlemen as well. Uh, we're here at Cal OES. We are streaming live on the internet right now. Uh, I do want to say that uh, it's a big day for Cal OES because we have 12 engines that are going to be, or in essence, type 2 hazardous materials response team vehicles. Got to use the right term here. Uh, those are going to be transferred today. This is the ceremony celebrating that. And first thing I'm going to do is uh, introduce the Cal OES director, our director, Mark Ilarducci. Mark. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Sean. Well, it's great to be here today with all of you and, and um, very excited about uh, what we're going to do today. These, these hazardous materials rigs, these, these specialized vehicles, which um, really have not existed at the state level uh, in California, were originally put together uh, out, out of a, a need that was, was developed as a result of um, hazardous materials being transported by rail. And, uh, and here in California, if you, if, you know, we have a lot of rail that moves resources, moves oil and other kinds of hazardous materials uh, in and out of the state. And so we knew that there were communities that uh, could be at risk should there be a train derailment or possibly an explosion or a hazardous materials release. In addition, California is a disaster prone state. We have earthquakes and we have fires and other kinds of natural disasters, or God forbid if we have something like a terrorist attack where um, a chemical facility or some other kind of hazardous materials release should occur. So the effort behind this program was to uh, procure these very specialized vehicles. And these vehicles really uh, represent the most state-of-the-art uh, capability for responding to these very complex hazardous material situations. And in our great partnerships that we have with local government fire agencies from throughout California, uh, we partner with those agencies. And at OES, uh, we take these specialized vehicles and we assign them to fire departments throughout the state. They're strategically located from one end of the state to the other uh, so that we have got a regional sort of response capability. Uh, and these, these rigs are not necessarily designed as the first in uh, assets. Uh, they're really there to augment the response of local government, uh, but they are in place to ensure that when there is a disaster of, of these kind of proportions, this capability, this specialized hazardous mater materials capability uh, is there to respond, to protect the public, to protect our firefighters, to protect other responders, and to mitigate the situation at hand. So um, this funding that was made available through um, uh, through, a, uh, through Governor Brown and, and uh, through Legislature of California was to procure these very specialized rigs. Um, and uh, we've, we actually have 12 of these rigs that are going to be placed throughout the state. Today we're going to be um, uh, transferring the first six uh, to uh, our partner fire agencies that are here with me uh, today. And um, uh, we're, we're very excited about it because it does build uh, a level of capability. Uh, as necessary. The other thing about these rigs is that when there is a big event, a disaster in a particular part of the state, uh, irregardless of what's happening uh, within California and local government, we can pool these assets from throughout California in what we call a strike team formation and move a number of these hazardous materials rigs, even all 12 of them if necessary, to that particular location in the state that's experiencing disaster. So it not only helps from a regional perspective, but it also augments our capabilities statewide for being able to move this, this very tremendous asset uh, and in support of our other local uh, agencies. Um, so with that, I'm, I'm very excited today to uh, officially transfer these vehicles. And um, I think the next thing is to, um, are we going to have the chiefs um, come on up? Sure. Awesome. Yes. So um, let's start off with... Uh, which one of you guys would like to start? Okay, come on. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Louis Brochard. I'm the Deputy Fire Chief for Contra Costa County Fire. And uh, today is uh, it's an exciting day, not just for Contra Costa County and the Contra Costa County Fire Protection District, uh, but also for the state of California. Uh, obviously, this is a game changer uh, for our county and our operational area, but also for the state. 
uh, very much looking forward to uh, putting Hazmat 21 into service very quickly. Uh, we've uh, developed a team of uh, we've developed a team of uh, 22 hazmat specialists with five more uh, completing training in the next 30 days and a commitment to put up to five additional specialists through training every fiscal year. Uh, our commitment to hazmat uh, is so important because we have one of the most industrialized counties within the state with all of our refineries, our chemical plants, um, our uh, power generation facilities, and all the subsidiary uh, uh, industries that support those and also feed off of those. Uh, there is uh, an intricate rail network uh, as well through the county that transports uh, crude and other products to and from the refinery. So we're anxious to get started. Um, I'd be remiss um, if I did not um, say uh, thank you to uh, Director Gilarducci, Chief Segaris, and uh, the members of the OES staff. I know this has been a tremendous lift. Um, we're happy and uh, delighted to be partners with you. Um, thank you to all of our personnel, uh, IFF Local 1230. Uh, we did not have a hazmat team until this uh, 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 project came to being. So this is huge for our fire district, huge for the nine cities and the 600 and some odd thousand people that we protect every day. So uh, with that, thank you. Uh, very uh, uh, happy to be part of this today and uh, uh, looking forward to get hazmat 21 uh, on the road and operational for Contra Costa County and the citizens of California. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Alan Ernst. I'm the fire chief for the City of Modesto Fire Department. Uh, we're absolutely thrilled to be partners with the state and Cal OES. Uh, we've been partners for quite some time in the Type 1 program. Uh, we're also very proud to be a all-risk fire department that does currently have a hazmat team. Obviously, this uh, we're excited to have Hazmat 41 to augment our system and, and the benefit of the citizens of Modesto as well as statewide. And uh, once again, I want to thank the staff of OES, uh, our local 1289, and the members of the Modesto Fire Department for help making this possible. So thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Pat Vargas, Division Chief uh, Tracy, uh, South County Fire Authority. Uh, we're just honored to be a part of this program. Um, we have a couple of people I'd like to personally thank, Engineer Swars uh, and uh, Chief Argenbright, who really have kept us in the, in the, uh, in the know with this and, and connected us with all this. Uh, we have had a, a hazmat team for quite a long time, and this just uh, carries it a little further for us. We're honored to be a part of a statewide system that um, is going to respond to statewide emergencies on a higher level. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, 3355, which is our local, for all their support. Um, I'd like to thank the Cal OES staff. And without going to the names, um, I've gotten to know a lot of them through emails and calls. Um, so again, we're, we're, we just consider it a privilege to be included in the, in the 12 um, and one of the first six. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Will Pryor. I'm the Battalion Chief for LA County Fire Department, and uh, I have uh, uh, the Hazardous Materials Program and, uh, and, and staff. I wanted to thank OES. Uh, really a well put together, well thought out program. These rigs, if, if, if anybody has a chance to go through them, they're, they're beautiful. They have a, a, a really a, a well thought out design. Uh, the equipment that has been purchased is, is really a, a, a game changer for us. Uh, we appreciate the uh, great support of the administrative staff from OES, and uh, it, these will be put in service soon to help protect the citizens of Los Angeles County. And uh, again, to the staff, to uh, my department for their support, administrative support in this program, to uh, Firefighters Local 1014, to all of you, we thank you very much for thinking of us, for providing these amazing vehicles, and uh, uh, giving us such good, good support through the program. So thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is John Challow at Sutter County Fire Chief, uh, here in representation of the Yuba Sutter Hazmat response team uh, that Hazmat 31 uh, will be augmenting. Uh, we do have an active team, but in partnership with Cal OES, uh, we're excited about the chance to have a state-of-the-art apparatus. And as the other chiefs have stated, these apparatus have 
really taken a lot of thought and, uh, and they, they put state of the art uh, equipment on this apparatus that is going to be it's going to be game changing for our area and for our team. So uh, once again, just want to thank OES for the opportunity to be able to uh, have Hazmat 31 in our arsenal to be able to uh, make sure that our citizens are safe. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Brian Dempsey with Seaside Fire Department in Monterey County. And we have a joint team with uh, Salinas Fire Department. And uh, I'm just going to echo everything the other chiefs had said. Uh, thank you very much to uh, Cal OES. Uh, I've been able now to put some faces, uh, some uh, to the names that, and the emails that we've exchanged, but this will be, uh, as others have said, a game changer for us as well. We have Hazmat 22. We have uh, individuals in school finishing up their uh, F and G modules. So we have a very robust team at this point, and we're looking forward to getting this in service. So thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Dan Weaver, uh, Battalion Chief for the City of Susanville. Uh, just like to thank the OES uh, organization and the OES staff to get a uh, hazmat uh, rig up to our location. We're kind of the, if you look at the map, we're kind of the, the lone people up in Northeast California. And uh, uh, it's been a long time of coming. Uh, and uh, it's good that we can uh, have this partnership with, with OES and, uh, and uh, together with the, the training that, we, that was provided, uh, we should be able to provide a pretty good service to our constituents. So. Thank you. All right. Well, today you heard a lot of thank yous to OES, but really it's OES that, that really needs to give the thanks to all of our partner local government fire agencies and uh, our fire, local fire labor groups that uh, are, are helping us put this program together. This is a significant enhancement uh, to a statewide uh, disaster response capability, and so we're very proud of them. and. We're very proud of this program and our state fire and rescue mutual aid system, which is really bar none, uh, one of the best that exists uh, any place in the world. Um, this program is based in our fire and rescue branch, and, and I, I'd be remiss not to uh, highlight the, our, our uh, within that fire and rescue branch is our special operations division, and, in, and there is our hazardous materials unit that worked very diligently to put this uh, whole program together. There's one person I do want to uh, single out who, uh, um, through his expertise and his, his capability and his knowledge, uh, was really a visionary in uh, not only uh, establishing the program, but um, what the rigs look like and how they're staffed and uh, how they're equipped. And, and that really, we were lucky, and we have been lucky uh, as a state, uh, as an agency, to uh, have had uh, his, uh, his, uh, his, his true expertise uh, and and, and uh, that is former assistant chief Jan Dunbar. Jan, could you come up for a, real quick? I want to give him a big round of applause. Jan, I've known for, gosh, more than over 20 years, and uh, uh, I never cease to be amazed at uh, his capabilities. And this really, you know, he ran the, he was the hazardous materials chief at the city of Sacramento retired from there and came over to OES and uh, we have just benefited this and not just OES the entire state of California and uh, uh, he's truly um, a, a great California great American and he's done a, a great job so Jan thank you very much thank you. Um, so with that thank you very much and um, you know uh, be safe and and you know for if you haven't seen these rigs take a take a walk through and, and check them out thank you very much